post one appeared to have victory locked up once Monday and let it go, then got a second chance and secured a spot in the American Legion World Series title game. The Delaware and Mid-Atlantic champs nipped Barry Hill post 165 of Midland, Michigan, 5-4 in 10 innings in the World Series semifinals in Shelby, North Carolina. Post 1 scored the winning run with two outs in the top of the 10th inning when Michael Cotillo singled up the middle and Matt Poema scored from second as the catcher dropped the ball for an error while attempting to tag him out. Poma had walked and ended up at second on a 5-3 double play. Marshall Autry was the winning pitcher in relief with two and a third shutout innings. Starting pitcher Jack Dubik the recent street. Mark's high grad who will be a University of Delaware freshman, had carried a perfect game into the seventh inning for post one. But Barry Hill batted around while scoring four runs on two hits, four walks and a hit batter to four sex trainings. The championship game is Tuesday at 7 p.m. On ESPNU against Monday's second semifinal between Las Vegas, Nevada, Post 40 and Gonzalez, La, Post 81, which handed Post 1 its lone defeat 5-4 in divisional play Friday. The last Legion World Series qualifier from Delaware had been Newcastle's stall post in 1976. The only Delaware team to win games at the American Legion World Series was also Stahl Post, which reached the semifinals in 1967. A Delaware team did win the Babe Ruth World Series in the 16-18 age division in 1983 in Newark, Ohio. Post 1, 39-4, will start Chris Ludman on the mound in the title game. Ludman pitched a three-hitter with five strikeouts, no walks and hit a batter when Post 1 prevailed 3-0 over Dubuque, Iowa, Post 137 in its World Series opener. Nick Muzzy of Post 1 hustles to third base, photo, Chet Strange, the American Legion, Ludman threw 11 and two-thirds shutout innings, allowing three hits, in two starts during Post 1's Mid-Atlantic Regional Tournament win, including the title game. The 2017 St. Mark's graduate became the University of Delaware's No. 3 starter as a freshman in 2018 and went 2-2 with a 3.12 era in 16 games, including 6 starts. Barry Hill had gone 3-0 in divisional play. After walking the first batter of the seventh inning on four pitches, Duba gave up a single up the middle with one out followed by Seth Gower's two-run double that pulled the Great Lakes region champs within 4-2, a walk a hit batter then loaded the bases, with another walk bringing in Barry Hill's third run. Dubuck was relieved by Nate Thomas with a 3-0 count on batter Adam Randall, who then walked on a 3-1 pitch to bring in the tying run. But Post 1 escaped the jam with a force out at home plate on a dribbler toward first base and another ground out. Autry replaced Thomas on the mound with two outs in the eighth inning after Thomas was injured when he collided with the home plate umpire while backing up first, though he returned to play shortstop. Dubuck struck out three. Post 1 took a 2-0 lead in the top of the third inning without benefit of a hit. Cotillo, Austin Colmery and Eric Ludman walked to load the bases with two outs. When a tag was mishandled on Dubeck's infield grounder, two runs scored. Poma and Chris Ludman singled for post once first hits in the fourth inning but were stranded on base. Chris Ludman then singled in two runs to make it 4-0 in the sixth inning with two outs after Autry walked and John Golubioski singled. Post 1 had blanked Dubuque County, Iowa, Post 1373-0 oh, Thursday in its opener, lost 5-4 to, to Louisiana champ Gonzalez Post 81 Friday and won 4-3 Sunday over Braintree, Mass, to finish second in the Stripes division. The team is made up of 16-19 year olds from the Pike Creek and Hocusn area. Contact Kevin Tresselini at ktresselini at DelawareOnline.com. Follow on Twitter at Kevin Tresselini. More in sports Brown returns from second serious injury for Blue Hens ageless sprawls back from knee injury rankings aren't everything in high school sports.